What's up, guys? What's happening? Coder Byte challenge uh, assessment. Again, uh, getting to difficulty hard. Uh, wild cards. So in this, uh, for this challenge, uh, we will determine if strings match it, a set of wild card characters. It will be regex. So syntax is, I would say, important uh, to make it right. So let's see. Have function wildcard read string which contains two strings separated by a space. Okay, we'll need to divide this right away, split it. Okay, uh, this uh, first string will uh, consist of following set of characters. Ooh, and n which is uh, didn't get this, and then which is optional. Um, the plus character present a single alphabetic uh, character. The uh, dollar sign uh, character represent a number between uh, one and nine, and asterisk uh, represent a, a sequence of the same characters of length three, uh, unless is followed by n, which is represent how many characters should be uh, appeared in sequence where n will be at least one. Your goal is to determine is second string exactly matches the pattern of uh, first string in the input. For example, uh, we have plus plus uh, multiplier or asterisk. After that we have five, we have separator space and after that we have T, uh, J, T, G, 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 then the second strings uh, in case doesn't match the pattern. So your program should return a string true. Does match, sorry, does match. If the second string doesn't match pattern, your program should return false. So, okay, so here's another example. We'll definitely have plus, 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 and after that, like separate, and after that, we'll have false. And here's another nine is okay nine. We have this and this and this. Okay, so we almost probably need to have uh, uh, the, the object that we will have mapping of our stars to one zero, etc. etc. So yeah, let's come up with some implementation again. We're going with JavaScript. Let me know if you would like to see other implementation. And again. Sticking to dark or light. See, okay. Now we most probably can go without after all mapping. So here is one implementation, but again, it will definitely heavily will rely on uh, regular expressions. So again, uh, it's at the beginning we will split our string uh, to array. Again, separated is uh, uh, space. Uh, again, we have pattern and we have word as the next one. So after that, we'll initiate uh, our empty string, uh, uh, string regapsed uh, here, uh, so for pattern. So after that, uh, we will start our loop for loop, uh, again with pattern, uh, with the length of our initial pattern, again, all the special kind of characters there. So after that, we will just go with if statement and we will uh, keep adding up to regular uh, expression pattern. So if current string is, as we discussed, plus, so it's A to Z, so we'll get this. If it is, we will, uh, yeah, again, uh, if pattern is equal plus, so regular expression will be from A to Z, so we good. After that, we will go through other dollar sign. It's numbers here, digits. We good. After that, uh, asterisk. So we'll match the sequence, the same character. So, uh, so we will check here, and again, we will uh, go parse a specific content within this kind of brackets. Uh, uh, we'll adding up. To our regular expression is usually uh, otherwise uh, sequence will be length to uh, three so we will put it uh, in 
and after that we will test if our word and again this probably should be better to kind of again don't like to return uh, the whole logistic piece here but again we got it uh, true or false so again we will uh, check if our word matches generated regular expression pattern after the, uh, that so regular expression and we will test it out our word here so yeah, let's try it out our test cases. So correct, correct. So we should be good. Let's go with submission. All right. Again, uh, we got 10 points. It's supposed to be 15. So I'm not sure what they're doing, but again, I don't want to because I consider it this a little bit, if not big time BS. Anyway. So again, we got it, all tested, pass it. So we got source code, again, distribution. If you can see other guys were doing or whatever. So again, it was wild card, uh, it's hard one. So it's definitely again require additional extra effort, but co from code perspective, it's still relatively small. So you shouldn't think of, it will be like half applications that you need to, to do this. If you, if it is, that must probably uh, implementation go uh, uh, not the right direction. So most probably rethinking the whole approach should help you just in general uh, with this all assessment usually, but you never know what the guys prepared uh, for assessment uh, uh, out there. So, okay. Uh, Again, if you'd like to see the same or any other uh, challenges in other languages, let me know. Consider subscribe to support this content just in general. And again, thank you for watching and see you next one. Bye.